Start. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. These tools should never be used for malicious purposes. Our first tool is Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a suite of application security testing tools developed by Portswigger. The suite includes the popular web proxy, Burp Proxy. Burp Proxy allows penetration testers to conduct man-in-the-middle attacks between a web server and a browser. They allow inspection of network traffic, which can help detect and exploit vulnerabilities and data leaks in web applications. Next, we have Nmap. Nmap is a free tool used for network and web security. It supports Linux, Windows, and many other operating systems. It provides both a CLI and GUI interface. Penetration testers can use Nmap to understand which hosts they can access on a network, what services they expose, which frameworks they are running, and what types of bundled tunnels or firewalls are in use. This tool comes pre-installed on Kali Linux, but you can also install it manually on other distros. Next on, we have WP Scan. WP Scan is a vulnerability scanner designed specifically for WordPress websites. As the name implies, it scans your site for vulnerabilities and offers some hardening features. With one of the most comprehensive vulnerability databases available, WP Scan can identify vulnerabilities in even the most obscure plugins and themes with fewer than 100 active installs. It also comes pre-installed with Kaylee Linux. After WP Scan, we have GoBuster. GoBuster is a directory brute force tool. It scans a website and returns a list of directories and pages. It can also be used for finding subdomains. It's super helpful for finding hidden login pages and just general web recon. It is written in Golang, which makes it faster than other tools. It doesn't come pre-installed with Kali Linux, but you can easily install it with the following simple command. After that, we have Nikto. Nikto is a web scanner that scans and tests several web servers for identifying software that is outdated, dangerous CGI or files, and other problems. It is capable of performing server-specific, as well as generic checks and prints, by capturing the received cookies. It is a free open source tool which checks version specific problems across 270 servers and identifies default programs and files. On number six, we have SQL Map. SQL Map is a tool for detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It has been around since 2006 and is still actively maintained. The real magic comes in when you actually need to exploit the vulnerability though. SQL Map can take a SQL injection vulnerability that is extremely time consuming and laborious to exploit manually, and then exploit it with ease. SQL Map is a popular choice among ethical hackers and penetration testers. Next, we have Metasploit. Metasploit is a penetration testing framework with many exploits and payloads. It can be used to simulate attacks and test the security of systems and web applications. It includes a database of known vulnerabilities and exploits, as well as the ability to create custom exploits. Metasploit can also automate testing and reporting, making it a popular tool for security professionals. It is very useful for beginners as well as professional ethical hackers. Next on, we have Maltego. Maltego is one of the most famous OSINT frameworks for personal and organizational reconnaissance. It is a GUI tool that provides the capability of gathering information on any individual by extracting the information that is publicly available on the internet by different methods. Maltego is also capable of enumerating the DNS, brute forcing the normal DNS, and collecting the data from social media in an easily readable format. Maltego comes pre-installed with Kaylee Linux. It has both paid and free versions. On number nine, we have Wireshark. Wireshark is a type of open source ethical tool that is mainly used for packet analysis. It is mainly equipped with a good user-friendly interface. This tool is one of the easiest tools tools that can be used for network monitoring, and it is popularly known for its color coding features, which help the users to identify the nature of the packets. Wireshark helps to import dump packets from the capture file for further study. It also helps to save the tests as a capture file to work on the future. Last but not at least, we have Zap. OWASP Zap, or Z-Attack Proxy, is an open source web application security scanner that is used to test whether the web applications that have been deployed or have to be deployed are secure or not. It is a very popular penetration testing tool in the security industry. OWASP Zap can act as a proxy server with the ability to manipulate all traffic passing through it. It doesn't come pre-installed with Kali Linux. You have to install it manually. That's it for today. If you find the video useful, please have a subscribe and don't forget to thumb up. Comment down the topic on which you want the next video. Thank you for watching.